Hello and welcome to the next episode of our Process Fire Seminar. This time we want to deal with images. Sometimes images is a bit interesting thing to solve or uh, to deal with. Let's see what the problem is here right now. Actually we just have our placeholder pictures, but when we <coughs> did the language thing, we have also introduced language dependent images. So here we have a placeholder picture and if we change the language to English, we can see here is a way bigger image and also on the detail page the image is much too big. This doesn't look nice. So let's see how we can deal with this problem. Let's go back to this overview page. This should be page and here we have our image. So we can change it here for example with height 200 with to... Ah, let's do it for a bit better. Let's say here this is 500. No. The width will be 500. 500. And the height, let's say 300. Okay. This looks a bit better. We can also change it to a bit more width. Let's say it's 700. Okay, let's do it 900 and the height will be, let's say 500. Okay. Problem solved. Ah, no, not really. Let's dive a bit more into this. It's not really responsive and uh, it's uh, looking awful. So what else could we do? We could maybe do it with a class. Let's check the image fluid class from Bootstrap, what it can do for us. Oh, yes. Now the ratio is much better. So now problem solved. We are done with this problem. So we can change back the language to German and its placeholder picture. And here we have a nice picture. But no, not so much. If we now check the image, let's open the image in a new tab. And now we can look at it. The image is much bigger here. This is a picture which will be loaded and scaled down to this dimension. And um, yes, <laughs> this will need a bit longer to load. And um, if people are in a low bandwidth area, they have uh, it needs longer to for the page to load. So what can we do now? Okay, process wire does have um, also functions to deal with uh, image. So here we are having the images and we can also resize the image. For example, we can resize this to 100 to 100 or whatever. So let's check how we can do this here. We will remove this class and here we can now say size and we have set 900 and let's say 500 and then we will get the URL. So this function will take the image, it will resize the image to this particular sizes and then we will give them back the URL of this resized image. Let's check if this is true. It took a bit longer to load because the new image had to be built. So let's check this, how big it is. So as we can see now, it is 900. We can see it here in the URL. The image site is 900 by 500. You can also see it if you scroll here over this place. Uh, if you point your mouse pointer here, then you can see um, that the image is 900 by 500 pixel. Okay, crazy cool. But isn't there any better way to deal with this? This is very rudimentary. Maybe Process Wire can offer us some more interesting ways for to do this. Oh, here are options. Yes. So for example, we can say we need a cropping. So it will use the north, the top center, 
in the middle top of the image. Or we can say northeast, which will be the top right, west, center, east, and so on and so on. All of this is possible. Or we can do uh, target regions and other things. And we can also say the quality and the upscaling and, and, and. There are many things possible. Or we can say we want to have a size and we want the one who is uploading the image to decide which part of the image he wants to use. So how can we do this? For this process where is having um, a third party module and this module is called croppable image version 3. So with this we can give the crop a name we can say it has a particular height and width and then we will get this back within our um, website. So we have to take a note about the class name. Then we have to go to our processor. We go to modules, site, add new. Now we are getting here add module from directory. This will give us a module from the modules directory of process file. Here we say get module info. And now it is telling us, okay, this is this particular module. Ensure that you trust the source of the zip file above before continuing. Okay, I'm trusting it. Download. Install now. Okay, done. So now that it will work, I will show you how to do this. We are having here our block image. We have the block image English and the block image. So for both fields, we have to do the very same. What has to be done? Let's go to our fields. Here we have our block image. And the block image field is the type image. So this has to be changed to croppable image. After you have done this, hit the save button. You have to confirm that you want to change the field type. You want to keep the field settings and then you hit against submit. Okay, next up we go to the details. If you scroll down, we can't see anything new here. So just hit save again. Now scroll down again. Okay. As always, <laughs> I was in the wrong tab. Anyway, you have, to be, you have to go to the input tab and then you see here crop settings. So with this we will do block listing. And now we will have the size of 900 comma 500. Save. So what has been done now? We are having now our blog post. Oh, we have to do this also for this field. Okay, again, English. So this time we can do it correct on the first time. Confirm the changes, go to input, and it's not here. So you have to say, uh, hit the save button again. And now we can see this. So, with, so that we don't do anything wrong, we will copy this from the other field, go to the input, we copy this, go back to the other field, input, scroll down to this, and save. Good. Now we go to our blog post, and we go to this big one. So now we can click here on the edit. And here we see now our predefined crops, block listing, and we see a preview. So let's click on it. Wow, crazy. Cropped image will be resized to 900 by 500 pixels. Click and drag the cropped area with your cursor. Okay, we just want to have the three guys on the boat 
and let's say crop and go. Okay, now it's the last chance to undo this. Oh wow, that looks great. And let's go back to this page. You can see how the image is right now. Let's save it. Let's reload. Oh yes, <laughs> actually we can't see any changes because we also have to do something to our source code. I was so much thrilled about this anyway. So we have to remove this and here we have to say we want to use the function get crop and not get croppy, get crop. And here we have to tell them the name of our crop. So in this case we are having block image, input, block listing. And here we have to tell it, okay, we want to use this part. Let's go back. It took a bit longer because this new image has, be, has to be, uh, had to be created. Now we can see our three guys Paddling. So if you go now to read more, oh, same, pro same problem. Okay, so now we have to go to a blog post. I think we can just take this with us. We go to blog post. Here we also have an image. Uh, let's do it like this. Get crop. Block listing URL. Okay, now it's working much better because now the browser just has to load this particular image and not the big one, which will then be resized. And now we can also add our class again, uh, image fluid. And now the uh, proportion is a bit nicer inside of our uh, area here. Okay. If you look here, you can see that there are also some more small options so that you can, for example, uh, this is the wrong place. We have to go to croppable image, sorry. <clears throat> you can also say that you just want to have the possibility to use um, the particular crop on just specific templates. For example, here they are having home and sidebar and then it will only show there, not on other things. And you can also say that you want uh, to add some more options while you are getting the crop. So you can still change some settings there that you want to change the settings or the sharpening. So yes, many thanks to Horst who did this. And yes, so next time I will show you, maybe next time I will show you how to deal um, with um, other types of croppings, which um, can maybe also be done with this. But we um, will add some things that we have a bit more um, possibility for res responsive websites, so that the responsive websites will load the optimal or most optimal a resolution for the sites on which uh, the website has to be shown. Okay, if you don't want to miss this next episode, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click the bell button, otherwise you won't get notified. So for now, bye bye.